<laughs> Welcome back to Lego by the Book. I am Captain Xavier, and today I am going to get started on set 21348, the 50th anniversary Dungeons and Dragons Lego Ideas set. Uh, they, they don't actually have a simple name for it. Any of you that have been following my channel for more than about 30 seconds should probably know that I'm a huge fan of Lego Castle and Dungeons and Dragons, so this makes me happy. I am definitely looking forward to the uh, collectible minifigures uh, series coming out later this year. Um, for those curious, yes, I did get the uh, the adventure that comes with it, and I do hope to run it someday. I did also get the Mimic, but it has not arrived yet. Apparently it shipped separate. Um, it is, in fact, 10 o'clock at night here, almost 10.30 when I'm starting this, so I'm definitely not going to finish it in one go. I may just try to build the dragon today. If nothing else, I'm going to open it up and take a look. Um, uh, it'll all get edited together into one big video, but uh, you don't know that. All right, let's, let's get it open. Okay, now those are just cool looking. All right, we need, well, we're gonna see which book we need. Yeah, right, well, book one, of course, is gonna have all of the, uh, the history stuff in it, QR codes, exclusive Dungeon Dragons adventure. I thought there was dice involved somewhere. There were pictures of dice when you ordered this, but it didn't seem to come with any of those. Maybe in the... Come with the Mimic, maybe. I don't know. 50 years. Meet the model designer. Ah, yes, yes. The person who designed the original one. Uh, and they kept to it fairly close. They obviously changed um, some stuff. And some for the better. Perhaps some for the, for the worse. I do like the changes they made with the dragon. At least some of them. I don't know about that head. Um, but very cool, very cool. Well, very, very similar, really, which is nice. Um, very cool. Uh, oh, they did uh, the, the cover art. It was also a competition. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Uh, some of the monsters, skeleton, gelatinous cube, owl, bear, beholder, displacer, beast. They even have a mimic Lego set. Uh, and of course, the red dragon. Very good. Oh, the characters. Dwarven cleric, gnome fighter, orc rogue, elf wizard. All right. Well, like I said... I kind of want to build the dragon first. Book one is not the dragon. Book two is not the dragon. I'm guessing book four is going to have the dragon. Yeah, it looks like book four is all the monsters. It's going to be my guess. Yep. Nope, I guess some of the monsters show up in other places. But, uh, book four is entirely the dragon. So I'm going to skip ahead and build me a dragon because I want to. And I'm an adult, so I can do that. All right, I need a book. Here we go. Fair parts. And we have what I assume is a section of the torso. Let's go to spare parts bin. Next bag! Spare parts! And a much more well-defined Torso, we definitely have where the two legs are going to be, the tail, the head, we've got all the sockets, wings, we're good! Bag 27! And there we 
have the tail, which is quite articulated. It doesn't curl up, so it can curl straight, but not up. But it can curl down a bit towards the bottom. Pretty cool. Lots of spikes. I like it. Get its scales aligned. All right. Grab bag. Bag twenty-eight. No spare parts. Bag twenty-nine. parts, including parts in new colors. I don't think I've ever even seen that shade of orange before, much less a pneumatic joint. There's a bunch of that orange in here. Oh, the wings. Wings are gorgeous. Look at those wings. The underline. Oh, so good. <laughs> this is a cool, cool set. All right. Bag number 30. I think there was actually more, but I chose to uh, use them. Meh. These are the back legs. And they're not particularly, not particularly articulated. They will swing. They don't go out, but they've got claws. So it can kind of stand. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All yeah, right. Two bags to go. And then we have the front legs. And they are a bit more articulated. They've got an elbow a joint and uh, another claws and they swing. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. Yes. Come together beautifully. All right. Just one more bag to go. And we are done. And that is a really cool looking dragon. Very well articulated. The wings can uh, rotate that way. They can rotate up and down, obviously. You can enter glide mode. The neck doesn't straighten out much. In fact, the neck is not very articulated. The head has a little bit of nod, but you can't get him, him straightened out, as it were, if he were in flight. The back legs don't go back very far. Oh, they can go a little bit further. Okay. Yeah, you can Superman pose. Da -da -da -da. And have the wings come forward if you want. I think the wings look better going this way. Yeah! Mouth does open up a bit. Yar! He does have eyes, beady little eyes under his horns there. I like that. There's so many fascinating techniques in here. And there's a 
something I thought it was going to be a technique they were going to use, and I'd never seen it used before, and I didn't know it was a thing, and then they didn't use it, um, which was kind of like, oh, that was going to be super clever. Um, but we're, we're definitely benefiting from years and years of Ninjago brick-built dragons um, in this because it, it looks fantastic. I like the scale of it. I like that they left you a little spot so that a, a minifigure can sit up here and ride on it. That is pretty cool. Kind of surprised they didn't put uh, one of those bumper plates, those rounded bumper plates back here on the back of the neck. They make those in red. Maybe I'll add that. But yeah, like that they left you a spot so you can actually have a, a, a character ride on the back of it. Very, very cool. An excellent start. I've got little neck wings. We can flare those out a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. I like the scale. There were some people that were uh, disappointed that it wasn't a, um, a molded dragon, but I definitely think a brick-built one is the way to go. There's a lot of um, opportunity expanse. You know, you could easily take this design and I'm sure almost all of these parts exist in other colors. So you could make a black dragon, a green dragon, you know, probably have some trouble doing any of the metallic dragons, but uh, you could definitely do black and green easily enough, which would look pretty, pretty awesome. The original one in the, uh, the idea was a green one. So uh, pretty sure everything in here you could get in some manner of green or dark green and make a, another one. I'm sure people have probably already done it. Uh, very, very cool. All right. Well, probably tomorrow I will start on the rest of the build, and I am looking forward to it. There are some neat, neat things in here. Stay tuned. Well, you don't need to stay tuned. Editing is magic.